So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so it's a good time to remind all women out there to get a breast exam, but not every woman has the financial resources to get those exams or those tests that they need. So Carrie Sievert with the Wisconsin Women's Program is here to tell us about some free screenings that are offered year round, but you want to put a spotlight on it this month, especially. Thanks yeah, for joining us. Thank you. So let's talk first about why this need is even here. You guys have been around for 20 years now. Are, are women realizing more that they need to be coming out and getting these kind of tests, these exams? Well, I think there's always been a strong breast cancer awareness message. Um, the Well Woman Program is not just messaging that in October, but like you said, year round. The Well Woman Program is a statewide program that offers free breast and cervical screening for women who don't have insurance. How big of an issue is that? I mean, um, you know, just kind of thinking about that obstacle, it's already an obstacle enough to try to figure out if this is something you need. Right, a lot of women that we talk with who don't have insurance and don't have access to insurance say that not having the money to be able to afford getting a mammogram is one of the number one thing that stops them from doing that. So we try to spread the message that mammograms are available for all women regardless of their income or ability to pay for that mammogram. And something else, I, I, we were talking during the break about just kind of the, the different messages that women have, have heard over the course of the last couple of years. But your suggestion's pretty clear cut. Yeah. Talk with your doctor, right? Some of the screening recommendations can be confusing for yeah. women, so we really try to, like you said, spread the message that it's important for each woman individually to talk with a healthcare provider to figure out what screening schedule is gonna be best for her. Like you said before, I mean, this is a message that has really resonated, I think, across the country with, uh, with a lot of women, but why is it important for you all to kind of reinforce this in the month of October and kind of join on the, the pink bandwagon, for la lack of a better term. Yeah, well, we're, uh, we're always trying to encourage women to talk to their sisters, daughters, friends, grandparents, um, encouraging all women that we care about and that we love to take the time to get the screenings that are gonna help keep them healthy. What's the biggest challenge for you all, uh, besides the insurance part of it, but just in communicating this message and trying to get across what women might need out there? Uh, well, we just try to keep talking about the importance of being screened and make sure that women know that resources are available. I think that's the biggest thing. And just to recap, what kind of resources are available? You guys are in many clinics across the area, right? This isn't limited to Madison by any means. Correct. It's a statewide program and we work directly with clinics. We have contracts with clinics to help women so that if they already are established with a particular health system or have a particular provider, chances are good that they would be able to continue with that provider. Awesome. And last question for me, is there a specific, obviously, again, people should be talking with their doctors, but is there a group that you would really love to see come out and take advantage of these events, maybe an age group, maybe a prior history group, something like that? Well, research shows that African-American women are typically um, diagnosed at later stages and are oftentimes screened less often. So we really always try to highlight the importance of communities of color to make sure that they're getting their screenings as well. That's great. Um, people can go to wellwomandanecounty, right, dot co, mm -hmm. dot org there and see all of the participating clinics and sign up and you have to be qualified for this? You do, yeah, typically sure. we focus on women 45 and older. However, we do have another program called the Komen Treatment Access Fund that provides screening to women under 45. Fantastic, so uh, we appreciate your time coming in here. Sure. Carrie Siebert here with us this morning. Thank you again You're for welcome. waking up with us. Important message. <laughs>